Yeah, I'm sure that if everyone I knew hated me, couldn't bear to look at me, I wouldn't go so far as to shoplift. I'm not talking about the shoplifting. I'm sure she didn't even know they were dangerous. She probably saw them advertised on TV or over the internet. Right. So I guess it's the media and pharmaceutical companies' fault now, not the fact that she can't stop shoveling food down her throat. No one forced her to get fat. No one forced a cancer patient to get cancer. Give me a break. It's not a disease. Have you seen the latest research? Yes, I have. What I haven't seen lately is a kid eating an apple or riding a bike. You Americans can't even compete with the rest of the world in basketball anymore, unless, of course, it's the type you play with a remote control on a big screen TV. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Are you going to let him say that? He insulted our basketball teams. What happened? She's bleeding. From where? Oh my god. Just please stop it. Please. My pills don't cause skin necrosis. Could be something related to the pills? Or not. Or both. Diet pills brought her to us. We gave her the sores. You think she got a staph infection from something here? I'm not saying the hospital gave the sores. I'm saying we did by treating her. Warfarin-induced skin necrosis. Highly unlikely. We started her on heparin before the warfarin. Who gave her the heparin? I did warfarin. She did heparin. Sure you didn't both give her warfarin? Yes, I did not screw up. Did you actually see her prepare and administer the heparin? Enough said. You were standing right there. I was preparing my own dose. Yeah, right. There's got to be some other cause. None that I can think of. Let's fix the mistake. Give her unfractionated IV heparin and low molecular weight heparin by subcutaneous injection stat. The necrosis is getting worse. Maybe because we're treating her for the wrong thing. Have you found the right thing? No. Then we continue the treatment. Hope it's just taking longer than it should. At this point, it doesn't matter what caused the necrosis. Or who. If we don't stop it from spreading, it'll kill her before the end of the day. What else can we do? Get rid of it. Remove the dying flesh before it penetrates the abdominal wall. Do it. There's still a chance that the heparin treatment could start to take effect. We're going to wait as long as we can. But if there's no change in the next few hours, we're going to have to treat the symptoms directly. So you can get rid of the sores? Through surgery. Technically, it's an amputation. Amputation? But the sores are... Warfarin-induced necrosis attacks fatty tissue, mainly in the breasts. Wait. Are you talking about cutting off my daughter's breasts? She's 10 years old. A radical mastectomy may be her only chance for survival. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to ask you to sign this. It's been almost three hours. Still not changing her condition. I think we should get her into surgery. So what do you want to do? Assume that Cameron didn't screw up. What if it's not the warfarin? It has to be. The soul's presented right after we administered. Right, right, right. No, let's just say it's not. Come on, come on. What do you got? Can I have a second to think? No, there's no time to think. Just say the first thing that comes into your head. She's fat. Enough already, okay? We got it. You hate fat people. That's not what I meant. We already considered obesity as a cause. So did all other doctors. No, I mean, what if it's not a cause? What if it's a symptom? Okay, so what could cause obesity and skin necrosis? <sighs> Listen, I don't care if it makes sense. Just give me something. Also secondary to vasculitis. No, that's just sores, not obesity. Pyoderma gangrenosum. More sores. Okay, let's look at it from the other side. What has obesity as a symptom? Hypothyroidism? Genetics are more likely. My mom's heavy, too. She's 
isn't that just heavy? She's tall. Do you have any history on the dad? Yeah. Six one. Kid's short. We got stunted growth, high blood pressure, blood clots, obesity. It's cushions. None. Necrosis doesn't present. In rare good. cases, cushings can cause hypercalcemia, which can lead to the same skin necrosis as warfarin. It's perfect. It explains everything. Except it's not cushings. She's had multiple blood tests, and none show abnormal cortisol levels. The hypercortisolism could be cyclical. We just didn't catch it in the right phase. We'll have to do another UFC. There's no time. We've got less than an hour to make a call. If we treat for cushings and we're wrong, she's dead. We assume it's not cushings. She'll lose her breast and may still be sick. Do an MRI. You want us to look for hypercortisolism with an MRI? No, I want you to look for what could cause hypercortisolism with an MRI. Nothing on the adrenals. Her camera went home. She's sick. Go back to the pituitary views. She seemed okay. I think she's got another reason for leaving. I hope so. Wait, stop. There. What's that? A tumor. It's Cushing's. The tumor causes Cushing's. Cushing's messes with hormone production. Hormones control everything. Growth, weight. Can you fix it? She'll need surgery to remove the tumor. Once it's gone, everything will get normal very fast. No mastectomy? No. Thank God. The surgery is dangerous. The pituitary is located between the cavernous sinuses, basically right between the eyes. The area contains the nerves that control eye movement and the major arteries that feed the brain. Oh, my God. The surgeon will approach the gland transphenoidally. An incision will be made under the lip through which he'll insert a fiber optic microscope. Once the tumor is found, he'll cut it into small pieces and remove it through the same hole under the lip. The whole procedure should take about three hours, and your daughter should be able to go home in a few days. The sores will go away, as well as her fatigue and the muscle pain. She'll even start losing weight. Jessica. Hi. Is that really you? Yep, it's me. You look fantastic. She always looked fantastic. <laughs>